fifteenth day of the first lunar month is an important traditional Chinese festival. On this day, the first full moon of the year would appear in the sky. It is a day for people to celebrate. Since the Han Dynasty, lighting lanterns has been an important custom of the festival. That is why it is called the Lantern Festival. The Quanzhou Festive Lanterns of Fujian Province have almost a thousand years of history in China. According to the different creation processes, they can be divided into colored tassel lantern, carved paperboard lantern, and frameless lanterns. This is Xu Qiansheng, a representative inheritor of Quanzhou Festive Lanterns. The intangible heritage of China, the less than ten centimeters long knife in his hand, a stencil board used during the carving process, and the knife sharpening tools are all that he needs for lantern making. Xu Qiansheng's expertise is in carving the hollow board on the paperboard, an extremely demanding process for making frameless lanterns. To cut out a variety of original decorative patterns on the paperboard is a great challenge for the carving skills of the craftsman. Every piece of a paperboard may look the same, but they are carved with different blade angles. Every side of the lantern will show different patterns when it is lit. The workmanship is reflected through the carving knife. To carve the paperboard requires the knife to be extremely sharp. Usually, before a flower is done, the artisan needs to stop to sharpen his knife and then continues his work. The carving knife in Xu Qiansheng's hand has been used for over six decades. At first, it was 20 centimeters long. Now, it has worn down to barely 10 centimeters. Carving the paperboard also takes a lot of time. Just for a small palm-sized flower like this, the craftsman needs to spend up to an hour on it. It would usually take a month to finish a lantern. Liaoxi Lantern is made of glass fiber. The decorations of Zhuanzhou Festival lanterns feature landscapes, historical figures, birds, beasts, pavilions and pagodas. As for the varieties, there are the trotting horse lantern, the lotus lantern, and many others. It is an art with a distinctive Chinese feature, which represents the Chinese culture and history. It also shows that today we can still be touched by the artistic creativity and expression of the ancient craft, developed through the history of a thousand years.